What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is episode six, phase three DLC content, which is personally my favorite. So I'm not gonna use any more of your time. We're gonna dive in, analyze, and do some planning and figure this thing out. So without further ado, here is the Wisconsin Maps. Hope you guys really enjoy this. Please help support the channel by liking, subscribing, commenting, and please share the video as well. So let's get into this. Roll the tape. Wisconsin, SnowRunner's third phase release of the Season 1 Pass, which brings back nostalgic feelings of Michigan with added crafting elements and challenges. Although some consider this region to be a reprieve, without map knowledge, you can find yourself overturned or sunk in the mud. Before we jump into our very informal yet great informational video, I need to state that this is based upon an unmodded playthrough with all the vehicles that are in-game given by the SnowRunner developers. In this video, we're going to cover the overall outlook for Wisconsin, the areas of concern and analysis for both maps, and the recommended routes. So without wasting any more time, let's talk about the overall outlook for Wisconsin. The brief description and overall outlook for Wisconsin is as follows. The difficulty is moderate, it's an ideal time to test new vehicles, a good area for using scouts, and a great region for semi-trailers. Next up, we're going to talk about the areas of concern and analysis, and then after that, we'll talk about the recommended routes for both maps in Wisconsin, starting with Black Badger Lake. Alright, so this is Black Badger Lake in our areas of concern and analysis portion. You can see my easy, moderate, and hard up there in the right-hand corner, and all these color codes of areas. Now, as you can see, there are smaller areas that I haven't highlighted uh, because they're just like back roads and this is something that um, Wisconsin does very well with their mapping is there's alternate routes all around the map but they're just off the beaten paths but I have my main routes on here uh, just for your reference so if I would have put every single route that I've ever taken uh, this map would be saturated with lines and I don't want to confuse anybody I want to make this very very simple so we're gonna jump in here and talk about these red marks and then we'll dive over to the recommended routes for Black Badger Lake. So starting from the garage right here, uh, if you go eastbound, there is a huge patch of mud. This is a river that's flowing uh, southbound down from the mountains uh, into this valley. So you can kind of tell that this is gonna be some mountainous terrain as you come up and then the valleys are obviously lower terrain. And then you might have to winch through here. Uh, low gears are gonna be help you out. There is a telephone pole. Uh, you should be able to get here with get across here with capable trucks so it's not that big of a deal but you will have to pass through here uh, sometimes to go to this construction creation zone and that is something that wisconsin does a lot different they change the way that they do cargo creation so you're going to have to understand that as well but i won't dive into that in this video just going through the alternate routes this area that i boxed off is a town that is uh, sunken in uh, water actually and this is part of the deepest mud in the whole map that I've found actually going through here so just be careful there are uh, tasks and contracts down here um, just bring, bring a big truck or a truck that has differential locking race suspension and such and you should be able to get through but there are winching points along the way from fallen logs and such this area right here by the fuel station is a river that goes down it's very boggy and getting across here once you get over here uh, this place right here just has a bunch of rocks. You can get hung up. There are some winching points, but I just decided to take this route around here as well. And we'll talk about that in the recommended routes as well. Now let's move southbound from the fuel storage area. Uh, moving southbound, this area actually starts to climb in elevation as it comes up out of this route, but it does dip down in here into this muddy, boggy area. And the P512 is actually down here as well that you rescue, and that's a vehicle that you find. Uh, one of my favorite vehicles in the game, actually. But this area is an area of uh, very heavy mud, and you might have to winch your way through it, so just be aware of that. And then as you come out of here, there's a river that dives down through these mountains. It can move your truck. There's rocks down in here. You can flip over and fall all the way down, so just be careful crossing this little river here. This is just another small little mud pit as you come up. And then once you dive down through these mountains down here to the warehouse, this is really rocky and... Uh, 
I've overturned my truck here because you're kind of going sideways and then it's rocky and such like that. So it's kind of hard to get up out of there. Takes a while, low gears, differential locking, etc. Uh, in this little gully down here, I guess this is like a, a crevice or some type of area like that they're mining down here. Uh, this area you can actually climb out of. It's a shortcut instead of taking these long routes uh, to come up out of here. Uh, I've done it once, but I won't try it again just because I don't want to tip and fall over and then have to rescue uh, the vehicle that did that. So let's move over here to the center of the map. This is a kind of a gully or a crevice area that, that goes down um, in elevation down to this riverbed down here before you cross over this bridge. There's a bunch of rocks here. There are winch points, so you can get through, but just be aware that you could tip over and rocks could hold you up as well, but it is passable. Right here is just a big mud strip that kind of holds you up. You can winch through it, but I did have to put it in there because this junk, it basic, it's an area where all these routes come together uh, before they branch off. Over here uh, in my intro video, you saw the BM-17 come through this area right here. It just slows you down. There's rocks in there, but you can see uh, without differential locking it pushed through and then I was able to accelerate out. Over here by the fuel station, this is a ridge crossing and I put this red because this bridge right here is not made when you're first on the map. And that's something that you have to do to unlock all these routes that you're seeing on here is unlocking all the bridges and make sure they're built. Because if you do not build them, then you're not going to be able to traverse this map as well as you should. And you see all these green routes. So these are basically highway routes or just um, light terrain that you can just fly down with cargo and move mass amounts of cargo as well. But this is a ridge crossing that you usually do in a scout to come to come over and you dip down onto these railroad tracks and then ascend up to the other side. And this is basically one of the only ways you can get this to this side unless you decide to go this way and around. But this this ridge crossing here, I would my best bet is I would just try to get down to the railroad tracks as quick as possible, uh, move over and then ascend up. And then right here is just a super big mud pit uh, it's super boggy. You can winch through it. Um, low gear differential locking will help you as well, but it's going to slow you down. So just be aware of that. Up here is like this impossible mud strip that I found out the hard way. I actually used vehicles to ferry uh, other vehicles across like the Colobs and stuff like that. If you watch some of my past streams of Wisconsin, I would use a Colob to pull a vehicle with cargo across this um very muddy portion here so just be aware that you're going to have to have a, a big uh, truck to get you across here and then lastly this area is um, I would say a gully or a crevice that kind of like a uh, an outflow area from rain it seems like but it's like a gutter and there's rocks embedded all through here there are winch points but you can easily overturn your truck uh, ascending up through here because usually up in these areas you're taking scouts so just be aware of that these maps are very, very tippy. They're not too hard with mud, except for some of the areas I explained. But now we're going to jump over, check out these recommended routes, and then we'll move over to Green Woods River for the analysis portion. Okay, so this is the recommended routes for Black Badger Lake. And as you can see, I have my blue dots up here. We are in game and I have my, my dots to show you some of these routes, uh, these main routes that I take. And you can probably see if we superimpose the other map onto this, a lot of these are going to be the green paths um, and the yellow paths. And there might be some red mixed in just because you're not going to be able to get around moving down some of these paths because you just have to. So, but we'll talk about these a little bit. So up here about the trailer store, uh, to get to the log station, you're basically just moving down these paved ways and then up that gully we talked about. Just be careful. It's probably one of the only ways to get up there uh, the fastest way. But you can get up here safely if you just take your time and use your winches uh, whenever you're off balance or stuck. And then you can move down here as well to the fuel station, to the warehouse, and then also into the paper factory. Now, before the paper factory, there's this off-beaten path to the right-hand side that you can traverse on to come up through. It's pretty easy, pretty scenic. And you can move all the way over here to the west side of the map for the rail station, the generator area, and then these two log stations. But once you come up here into these areas where these log stations are, just be aware that this, this mud in this area is going to be very um, overturning 
and also a little bit muddy. So I found that doing the log contracts up here was a little bit hard, but uh, you have winch points and uh, if you get off balance, make sure you catch yourself with a quick winch. So from the paper factory, let's move uh, southwest down this area. You might run into this super mud right here we talked about. Winch your way through it, uh, go through it slow, as is right here as well. Super mud here and super mud here. After that, this is all based on um, you've built all the bridges in the game. And that's something that you should always do after you discover towers, get your upgrades, and then find your task is just opening up the map with bridges or blockages as well. So you go over this bridge here, and then you're at the sawmill fuel station and to the gateway of Greenwoods River. Now, this gateway is the only gateway that I personally use. I've used this gateway over here one time. Uh, just because I do not like taking this path down here, but I'll explain this later. But I don't like taking this path because it, it's so much longer than taking these paved routes uh, where I'm only jumping through um, some bad terrain here and there. So anyways, from the Greenwoods River, we go down this path right here. Down here where you saw the BM-17 cross over that water in the intro part. And then you can just follow this path to the log station. And from the log station, it kind of forks off uh, multiple ways. You can make the left and go down this way to the brick production site or continue straight on uh, through these ways. It's pretty easy to this cargo creation zone down here where you bring sand. And that's where I left that part off. But actually, after you go through the brick production site, you can continue uh, down this mountain to this log station. Just be aware that this is going to be uneven terrain. And uh, you do not want to tip when you're down here, especially with uh, logs on your on your truck. So, And then after that, you can kind of continue down here to this warehouse and then climb back up onto this path. This is a hard path to climb back up onto, so just be aware of that. It's, it's going to take you a little while. And then once you get down here, do not flip coming over this river that's descending from your right-hand side. And then continue down through this mud, use your winch points, and then continue through to your fuel storage and then up to your um, uh, fuel station right here. And to get back to the garage or vice versa from the garage coming down to these areas, you're just going to have to go through this, this mud. Or you can find these little paths over here that take you around. Um, in my truck reviews, you can see I use a couple of these to do testing for stability and balance. But uh, sometimes I just bite the bullet and go through here and just winch my way through. And then stop and get gas because I'm burning so much. And then next, I want to show you guys a little shortcut here through this water. It looks really murky, but right off here, north of this uh, rolled metal production site, you can dive down here onto the shore, and there is a way that you can get across. There's like this muddy, rocky area that you can kind of cross into, uh, over into this uh, city area, and I believe you can, can get across here as well. And I need to mention getting to this log station, you just come down this path right here and then over through. It's not too bad, but uh, just be aware that you're going to have some mud in here as well. But this, this section right here, the cross through, is a major help. I've used it plenty of times, so definitely use it. If you want to cross here, I didn't put this in, I will put this in now. After you cross this river and come up here, this side right here has a bunch of rocks. It's almost like a blockage, but it's not. But I would just choose to go up through this way. And there's a path if you just continue past this little junction right here and then come up. It's so much easier than taking this way and crossing those rocks and uh, risking getting high centered, which you do not want to do. And then after that, if you want to maneuver back to the paper factory, you just cross this big bridge that you, that you need to construct at some point. Uh, to be able to move freely with cargo. And this is another map that you can move uh, lots, of, lots of cargo around in a short period of time. And then our last route is from this bridge here, you can dive down onto the shoreline and then there's a wooden bridge that you actually have to build yourself. And then you can ascend up this gully to the brick production site. And there's just a lot of ways that you can move to different sides of the map here after you open up everything with bridges and blockages. So. Guys, that is my recommended routes for Black Badger Lake. We're going to move now over to Greenwoods River and do the areas of concern and analysis. 
Okay, for our areas of concern and analysis portion for Grain Woods River, this is the second and final map of Wisconsin. And as you can see, there are not a lot of red areas that I've color coded here, but you can see these yellow big boxes here. And we're actually gonna go through these because I mentioned previously that Wisconsin has these tiny little minor routes that go through here. And if I color coded every single one, this map would be just saturated with routes. So I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna go through them and I'm gonna kinda of explain what they are. But first, let's talk about this little uh, blip right here. You've seen this in my truck reviews. Actually, this is just a big mud, a little mud pit here because this lake uh, overrides this road. And then after that, it's pretty much free sailing as you can see the all the uh, green routes. Um, up here, coming southbound down out of the mountains uh, from the Black Badger Lake Gateway. If you go down here, this is like a gully that runs uh, down this terrain, slanting very, very steep down here. Uh, bringing cargo out of here is pretty tough. It's kind of like those gullies I talked about. There's a lot of rocks. Uh, actually, there's like trenches of trails that go down through here. It's kind of tough to get down here, so just, uh, just be aware that you're gonna have a hard time getting up here with cargo if you're trying to bring massive amounts of cargo up, which I don't recommend. Here's the same thing. This is all slanting down into these um, these little waterways down here, this river. So, or this is Greenwoods River actually. So it slants down into Greenwoods River. This is higher elevation. And yes, you just need to be aware of tipping your truck over because these two areas you can tip over very easily uh, because you can just get going fast enough to where you can you know, lose control your truck and overturn. So just be aware of that. And then we're gonna talk about uh, this area down here by the sawmill. And as you can see, all these little uh, light areas and dark areas, these are all little minor routes that run through this whole area. And I didn't find any uh, severe areas, but you can just see there's a lake here and then there's like these little uh, trenches. And these trenches can be areas that I could probably could have color coded red, but when you're crossing them, there might be bridges here and such, but when you're crossing them, just try to hit them flush. Know that you have winch points all around you, as you can see the, the vegetation. So you're going to be using this area quite a bit to traverse down to this repair area. And uh, there's logs down here as well that you have to get. Um, on the east side of the map, there's a log station. These areas aren't super hard to get by. And you see this area that you can pass through. It's not hard at all. It's actually very scenic, very fun. But down here is the same thing. Uh, these little minor routes that go through here. Uh, this is a boggy area down here. Uh, and all through here as well. So just be careful when you're traversing these areas because the terrain can change very quickly. These are mountainous routes and uh, they have trees all around so you can catch yourself. And then as you move through here, just be aware that all this areas are just slanting down toward the water uh, mostly. And up here is the same thing. There's these just minor routes that go through mountains, not really super hard terrain that you're gonna really get stuck in. And if you do, you got winch points to get out of. And then also up here, there's that mini warehouse that you can get materials from and then the gateway as well. And now uh, I'm going to show you guys some recommended routes for this area. This was very short. If you guys need any more information, my discord info is in the channel or you can stop by my streams whenever I do stream because I only really do it once a week. So let's jump over to the recommended routes now. Okay, so welcome to the final segment of the video. This is the recommended routes for the second map, final map of Wisconsin. This is Grain and Woods River. We're gonna do the recommended routes here. All right, so as you can see, there's not a lot of recommended routes I have, but most of them are just going to major hubs where you're, where you're going to be picking up cargo. And I also have some uh, river crossings in here as well because I feel like that is gonna be an important aspect of your journey here as well with getting from the east to west or west to east side of the map. So first off, uh, from the Black Badger Lake Gateway, this is all paved road that's descending out of the mountains. It comes down here to the garage. It's really uh, a nice drive, not hard at all. You should get down there basically within a minute or so. Uh, from the trailer store to get to the rail production, it's literally next door. Uh, to get to the sawmill, this is just a back road, uh, very country back road in the woods. There is a small crossing here that I believe is the bridge to get to the sawmill. It's not hard at all. And then I'm gonna zoom in here because I want I want you to take note of these little bridges. So all these little bridges right here, you can kind of see them. And the route I want to take to get there's this repair area and fuel storage 
because you will have contracts or tasks down in this area. And I believe I got long logs over here somewhere because they're set up, but they don't really tell you about them, but they're set there and you can actually acquire them there. So the way I get there is I just go through the sawmill around this side, um, come down here, cross these two bridges, go around this area, come through this little route here, move through over this bridge and through here and just kind of like the path just winds but if you find a better route use it if not this is a good route it's pretty safe i've used it multiple times but you'll find that these routes are not that bad and you know if you get thrown off balance you see the vegetation around here as well let's scroll out here because i'm going to talk about this this route here that we kind of discussed this route is actually coming down you make this left hand turn if you're coming from the garage down here and it goes underneath this bridge or you make the right hand turn coming out of the gateway and it goes underneath this bridge and flows down uh, descending into this valley where the Greenwoods River Lake or uh, sorry Greenwoods River is and this is a crossing here that you can get by I've crossed over here uh, and then moved onto this side with the Tega I don't recommend it I've actually flipped him but I've gotten away with some crazy stuff with the Tega going this way. And then I finally realized that going down here and crossing over is the better bet. So when you come down here, there's these two places that you can take cargo from and then just kind of drive along, along the shore here and then find a good route that seems fit the cross that seems shallow enough and make sure you have a snorkel. And then right here, there's a little rock crossing that you can get by and then over to this rock crossing. And then after that, just find a route that's suitable to cross here. I know I crossed here before, um, and I think I have crossed there as well. So yeah, just go along the shore, scope it out, whatever you feel comfortable with, make the, make the move and get across that. And then after you come up here, just go up these little gullies. It's kind of like clearings. They're not hard. They are paths. They're not just uh, grass. And you can move up to the warehouse, or you can go through the Black Badger uh, Lake. A gateway that's on the east side of the map and then after that you can basically just bring yourself over to the steel factory and then I'm gonna zoom out again because I want to show you how to get to these other areas real quick so from the garage we want to get to these hangars these are two places you pick up cargo from or store cargo I actually used it to store cargo as a point to to grab and take places but you can get there by coming down this road here and then just jumping over onto these railroad tracks and to the hangar and this is where the locomotive is that you pull all the way to the hangar so you'll see these railroad tracks on your right hand side whenever you come in here but if you don't want to go that way and you want to go left you need to build these bridges here to get over to this little uh, island right here where there is a upgrade i believe and there's are some tasks and stuff you need to do and after that you cross this large bridge over here to the the rolled steel factory and then before that, if you make a right hand turn, you got the mini warehouse right there. And then the lastly, last part is the easy route too, is you just come down here from the hangar A, hangar B, and go through here, cross this bridge. I believe you have to build this one as well. Come up here into these mountains. It's a nice path, it's not hard at all. And then you come to the log station. And lastly, I need to build a route for you because I wanna show you how to get across this river down here. And I believe this is the easiest way to cross Greenwoods River is if you get to this log station, you can kind of see this trail that descends down. So you just follow that trail and you can cross pretty much anywhere here. It's It looks like it's deep, but it's really not. I've crossed here with um, not really that great of trucks. And anyway, after you get over here, you see all these areas that you can just ascend up into the terrain with. Um, even this little gully here to the right-hand side, you can probably do it. But if you want to just shortcut, you just dive through. So. Anyways guys, that is the conclusion of our Wisconsin breakdowns for our areas of concern and analysis and our recommended routes. If you guys need help, please come to my stream or hit me up on Discord. I would love to share these files with you or just talk about routes and plan with you as well. I would just love to help. So until then, until next time, God bless and stay upright.